If you're a Leafs fan, you might be waking up a little disappointed, but maybe still high off of their win in the first round. Uh, the Leafs, though, return to the second round of the playoffs for the first time in nearly 20 years, is off to a bit of a disappointing start. So for more on last night's game, we're joined live again this morning by TSN Bardown's Eric Kirk. Eric, always appreciate the time. Thanks for joining us here. I know you're a, a Leafs fan. I almost said Habs, sorry. Uh, I know you're a Leafs fan, so let's not make that mistake here. But what went wrong last night for the team? I think it's just a classic case of getting goalied. Sergei Bobrovsky played unbelievable last night. The Leafs had three and a half, we'll call, power play opportunities this game, and they just couldn't figure out Sergei Bobrovsky. We saw them last series kind of have a pretty easy job figuring out Andre Vasilevsky and one of the best goalies in the world. And Sergei mm. Bobrovsky has proved why he is worth that $10 million contract so far mm. just in game one. He did everything besides stand on his head to make a save last night. So he faced nine shots in the last two minutes of the game when Toronto pulled their goalie, and he made nine saves. So uh, Leafs fans kind of take this one as, as it is. It's take your lumps. It's a game one loss. It's going to be a long series and move on to game two. And hopefully for the Leafs and the Leafs fans, they can figure out uh, Sergei Borowski. Mm. Okay, so I guess that's your indication of what they need to do to prep for Game 2, uh, which happens tomorrow night at Scotiabank Arena. But just looking at the play in the early of the uh, first period, there was a lot of, like, two-on-ones, and it kind of seemed like they were letting Samsonov uh, be exposed for many parts of the game. What's your take of uh, how they were playing on the ice, how they were working with each other? Did you think it was a bit sloppy? Uh, the last series, we saw Tampa kind of take the physical lead. And last night, it felt like Toronto was hmm. the team who was really trying to lay the body. And I think they put themselves in some bad positions by trying to overextend themselves and make sure to make that hit. It's an interesting way to do it. You have to do it in the playoffs. You have to play physical. Yeah. But Florida was taking that as they were going on the fly and kind of just moving into these two-on-ones, these three-on-twos, after taking a hit to make a play, which is something you need to do in hockey and it worked out for the Panthers this game I think next game we won't see the Leafs play quite as overly mm. physical as we did unless the Panthers reciprocated but we'll see how Sheldon Keefe adjusts yeah we'll watch for any changes and of course see what happens of course game two goes Thursday night at Scotiabank Arena TSN Bardon's Eric Kirk always appreciate this Eric thanks thank you Eric thank, thank you